Hello, in this OpenGL video, we're going to show you how to draw a VBO triangle. A VBO triangle, or anything VBO, is Vertex Buffer Object. That's what it stands for. It basically provides methods for uploading and transferring vertex data, such as normals, positions, colors, etc., to your video's memory, I mean, your video card's memory for non immediate rendering because if you use the old method of drawing OpenGL then you would be doing immediate mode and this has substantial performance gain because you're taking a lot of the load away from the system memory and the CPU and putting it onto the graphics card which is fantastic. There are disadvantages to this. One of the one of the disadvantages is if you're doing a lot of drawing and you're putting a lot onto your graphics card, but the graphics card that the user has isn't very powerful, it can actually slow down the game. But generally speaking, you'll want to use VBO. Some games like Minecraft actually have a little toggle in the settings, so I would uh, recommend checking that out. Just Google it if you don't have the game. And you can toggle between VBO mode and non-VBO mode. So that's what a vertex buffer object is. And to draw a triangle, it's really simple. The first thing, outside of the while loop, we're going to create an array of float. We're going to call it vertices. And this is going to be equal to the three points of our triangle because that's what a vertex is you can think of it as, as like a corner of a shape so we're going to put 0 0 0.5 0 0.0, 0 .0 change this to point 0 as well I'll explain all of this in a moment by drawing out what we're doing this is going to be the top corner this is going to be minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5, 0 0.0, this is the bottom left corner, and then finally 0 0.5, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.0, so, that, so that's our vertices all set up for our triangle. Now I'm thinking, what's going on here? For starters, each three vertices or each three pieces of data refer to one vertex, so X, Y, and Z. The reason we put zero for the Z value, because we're just drawing a 2D shape, so we don't want it to be any nearer or any further away from us. We don't care about any of that stuff. Regarding this, this is obviously the X axis, and this is the Y axis, and to actually show you what's going on, I'm just gonna actually draw it out, because that will be a lot better. So. I've just got a little axis here ranging between minus 1 and 1 and minus 1 and 1 in the x and y axis. Also I want to mention, though all these values are no greater than minus 0 0.5, I mean no greater than 0 0.5 and no less than minus 0 0.5, these values could be 50, 48, whatever. Just, I'm just keeping it simple, creating a small triangle because you can easily manipulate it if you want to create a bigger or a smaller triangle. So let's deal with the top corner first. Actually, before I do that, a quick overview of the coordinate system in OpenGL. OpenGL uses the right-handed coordinate system, and the best way to simulate that is hold up your right hand, point your index finger up, point your thumb to the right, and put your middle finger out so it's basically facing towards you, and that's the way the coordinate system in OpenGL works. So your index finger, which is pointing up, refers to the positive direction, and the opposite way is the negative direction. Your thumb is pointing right, so that's the positive direction, and the opposite way is the negative direction. And Z axis pointing towards you is the positive direction, pointing away from you is the negative direction. But we're not concerning ourselves with the Z axis. So let's do the first point, which was 0 and 0 0.5. Because like I said, the z-axis, we've just put 0 there, so I'm not going to really talk about that. So 0 and 0 0.5, so 0, which is right here, 0 0.5, which is right over here. I'm actually going to change the colour 
Ooh. Yeah, here we go. Change it to red. Yeah. I think, I'll fa I'll, I think I'm failing at drawing a squiggly line. Okay, there we go. So that's the top corner and the next vertex was minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. So if we go to minus 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5, so it's right here. And the final vertex was 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5. So as you can see, it's in line with the second vertex and it creates a triangle like so. So you can already see what it's doing. Let's just draw some straight lines. So let's just pick a different color. Let's pick blue. If I draw from here to here, let's draw another line. Oh, oops, Daisy. What we done? No, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to draw another straight line. And now our final straight line, which is from here. There you go, that's our triangle. That's how our triangle is essentially going to look. So if we just go back to our project, if we were to run this now, nothing will happen because all we've done is just set up the points. We haven't actually started drawing any OpenGL, which is what we're going to do right here where it says render OpenGL. So if we just... But GL enable not G4 slash GL enable client state in here. We're gonna put GL underscore vertex array. And this is just basically telling OpenGL that we're ready to draw some vertices, a vertex array, that is, which is right here. Because by default it's disabled. Next we're gonna do GL vertex pointer. And the vertex pointer takes a few parameters. The first parameter is the size of each vertex. So we got x, y, and z value, so it's a size of three. If we just had x and y value, which is perfectly logical as well, it would just be two. The type is the data type of our vertices. It's a float, so you put gl underscore float. The stride basically dictates is there a gap between each vertex? There isn't in our simple example, because we go x, y, z, then it goes to the next vertex coordinate. But in future videos and in more complex examples, you would have extra pieces of information inside this vertices array, such as color, so you would have a gap, and that's where you would put a stride. But for now, I'm gonna put zero, and the pointer is just the pointer to our array so we can get the coordinates and we just put vertices semicolon and I forgot to just comment this so this is bottom right corner this is actually technically middle top corner yeah that's probably more accurate next is actually the process of drawing our vertices so what we're going to do is specify the type of drawing mode and we are doing gl underscore triangles next we're specifying where do we want to start in our vertices array we want to start from the first vertex so you would put zero because computers start at zero not one and now you put the count and this is how many vertices there are in our array not how many pieces of information you've got per vertex because there's three pieces of information and three vertices so this number is going to be three but if for example we were drawing a square and let's just say you had an extra row like that it doesn't matter about the error because I'm going to get rid of this line so if you had an extra row like this this would change to a four simply because you got an extra vertex so let's just revert that back and the last thing to do is disable the client state because we're done with drawing our vertex array so gl disable 
client state and they just specify the client state that you're disabling because you could have various different states enabled so gl underscore vertex array and now that's it it's actually very simple so if we just run this now as you can see we have I don't know if I can really call it, call it an amazing triangle, it's just a white triangle. So that's how you draw a triangle in OpenGL VBO. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk forward slash questions dot php. There'll be a link in the description, plus there'll be another link in the description to the source code from this video and the source code from all our OpenGL videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and hit that subscribe button as it really does help us. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.